All right. So now you've been accepted, you've gone through the program, you've done some clinicals, you you haven't worked a lot and spent a lot of time studying. And what can you expect from the program? Well, you can expect that the graduates who graduate are well-trained, pass the licensure exam, and provide quality care to the people of Texas under the supervision of a licensed physical therapist. As of July 2019, 100% of the students in the class of 2019 had passed the national boards on their first attempt. That is quite an achievement. Um, what I want you to do is check our departmental website that I'm going to show you in just a minute for other student outcome data, including retention, board pass rates, and employment rates. So at this time, I'm going to flip over to our departmental webpage. I'm going to pull that up and kind of show you where to go on our website. Um, but after this information session, if you find that you still have more questions, our, we have our wonderful counselor, Amy Robertson, available to meet with you. We have our coordinator, Lynette Dempsey. Caitlin Long is um, one of our assistants that works with the with the program, especially during the application process, or you can contact me. In addition, I highly encourage you to review all the material on the website. So let's see what that website looks like. All right. Where, ah, here we go. This is our department website and you can see as of today, we, are, we have a huge pandemic that we're working on. So hopefully when some of you are listening to this in a couple months, this is not going to be what is on our webpage. But um, I have the link located in that PowerPoint or you can do a search for physical therapist assistant department. Here's the information sessions. We will be adding some live WebEx ones where we will do this same back and forth instead of a recording. I will actually be here and I'm hoping one of our counselors will be here. This recording will be located right here under the, that I'm circling now. Here are some of our important dates. This year, April 13th, will be the date that the ATIT's test is going to open. April 6th, our applications are going to be open. June 4th is the last date to take the ATIT's test. So basically, it should be open for about six weeks. June 11th is the deadline to submit your application. Interviews are June 25th. And then we have a mandatory orientation. Again, if you don't attend the, mand the, the interview or the mandatory application, we can't accept you into the program. We will move on to our waiting list. Um, if you want to schedule your ATITs, here's the way you do it. You click on that here. And it shows up here. You select a date and see what dates are available right now, today. Look at all these sold out dates. So it looks like we have one coming up on the April 27th. If there's ever a problem with the schedule or the ATITs, or for instance, if you, we have a hurricane or snowstorm or a freak COVID-19 pandemic, then the testing center will be contacting all of you that have scheduled tests and they will be rescheduling you. So you do not need to do anything. Just check back with the website. Okay, let's go. Let's go back. Um, on this sheet, there are some licensure. There's the CAPD. You can click on it and you can verify if we're accredited. All institutions that are CAPD accredited will have this on there. I don't want you to think that they don't. Um, here's some program outcomes and you can see this is a pretty good number down here. And then this little box sends your contact question directly to me. All right. The next thing I wanted you to see is see this little box up here? You are prospective PT students. And on this site, it says that why choose LSE Montgomery? Because we have 100% employment. We have 100% first attempt. 
oh my gosh, this was written in 2013. We'll have to change that to 2019. We have 100% all full-time faculty hold clinical DPTs or doctoral uh, doctorates of physical therapy. We have a low faculty to student ratio. It's one to 15 in the lecture and lab. We have low cost tuition and we have a high entry level salary. I think you were all pretty happy with that salary. Over here on the right hand side, it are some more statistics, but I want to take you in education forms. And I want to show you this slide that has all of the application forms. If you are more of a learner that likes to read content, please look at our admissions booklet. It has all the same things that I've discussed here tonight. This helpful tips will give you some helpful tips like I gave you in the presentation. Here's the score sheet that we went over. But what I really wanted to show was this observation form. This is the form that you would have your clinic fill out. You'd put your name. It tells you how to submit it. There's my name. And then it has them fill this out. And if you look at the very bottom, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, this is a Likert scale that they are grading you on how they perceive your preparation to be an applicant to the PTA program. And what every every clinic will judge that a little differently. But I can tell you, most of the clinics look at were they on time? Did they pay attention? Did they seem to engage? Did they not bother the patients? Did they keep confidentiality? Were they private? Were they dressed appropriately? All those things are important when you're when you are an observation student. And that is our website. You'll see some program costs here that are more specific that when I, than what I gave you in the presentation. You'll see some immunization requirements. Please don't go out and do a background drug screen or immunization until you get accepted into the program. We will send you all of that information once you are admitted. So let me go back. All right, we are back. Good evening. You can see that it turned a little dark outside and that we are finished for the evening. I hope you enjoyed the information session. Please contact either myself, Amy Roberson, Lynette Dempsey, or Caitlin Long if you have any additional questions about the program or fill out that contact sheet on our department departmental webpage. We do post frequent, frequently asked questions when they're appropriate and those will be included as well on our departmental webpage. I wish all of you the very best of luck in your educational goals. I hope that you choose us and we're the ones to meet that educational goal, but no matter where you are, I will be very excited to call you a peer in the treatment of our patients with physical therapy. Thank you. I appreciate you being here. Good night.